and the magnitude of the force on any small area is proportional to the area. That is, the submersible is under the action of a pressure, P. 3. Tangential or shearing stress. When the stress is tangential to the surface due to the application of force parallel to the surface, then the stress is called tangential stress. Therefore, tangential stress is equal to F by A. Definition of strain. Strain. The ratio of change in dimension to its original dimension. Strain is equal to change in dimension by original dimension. It has no units and dimensions. Types of strain. Strain is of three types depending upon the change produced in a body and the stress applied. 1. Longitudinal strain, 2. Volume strain, and 3. Shearing strain. 1. Longitudinal strain. The ratio of change in length to its original length is called longitudinal strain. Therefore, longitudinal strain is equal to change in length by original length is equal to E by L. Note, in longitudinal strain, the stress is always perpendicular to the surface of the body. 2. Bulk or volume strain. The ratio of change in volume to its original volume is called bulk strain or volume strain. If V is the original volume of the body and delta V is change in volume, then bulk or volume strain is equal to delta V by V. 3. Shearing strain or angular or tangential strain. The ratio of the lateral displacement of an upper layer to its distance from the fixed layer base is called shearing strain. It is denoted by theta. Consider a block. The phase ABCD is fixed and the tangential force F is applied on the upper layer CD. Then the block will deform by an angle theta. A, B, C, D, be the deformed shape of the block. The angle theta is called the shearing angle or shearing strain. If delta L is the displacement of the upper surface and L is the length of the vertical edge, then shearing strain theta is equal to delta L by L.